Good morning guys. It is probably about 10 a.m. maybe 10 30 and uh, I, uh, I overslept <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, we got home from the Coldplay concert and didn't go to bed till like 2 30 maybe maybe 3. Also had some real estate stuff that I needed to do and so I went to bed really really late. My throat kind of started hurting yesterday and it's still hurting today. She'll probably swing by a pharmacy and grab some sinus medicine or something like that. Uh, the Coldplay concert last night was unbelievable. It was unreal. It was incredible. And if you can do that in your lifetime, you've got to go see Coldplay. If you like Coldplay. But it was definitely by far the best concert I've ever been to in my life. And so that was cool. Today, um, I think we're going to go. So I already ate breakfast. I haven't yet. So I'm going to grab some food. And then we're going to go to Tower Bridge. And from there, I think we're going to Buckingham Palace. Kensington. Uh, Kensington, sorry. Uh, and where after that? Then Buckingham? Yeah. Then Buckingham Palace. And wherever else we want to see today. Because today is our last day. Our last full day in London. It's so, uh, yeah, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, the final things that we want to see that we haven't gotten to see yet. And get those things knocked out. And uh, then tomorrow morning, we leave really early in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to today, though. I think it's going to be great. We've made it to the Tower of London. So I've caused a lot of delays this morning. For whatever reason, I woke up. I think I already told you that I didn't feel very well. And I missed breakfast. So Savannah went and got breakfast, and I got a shower. Well, then I needed to go get breakfast. And so I did that and then I had to go to the pharmacy to get medicine for my throat and sinuses and then I thought that I had forgotten my uh, metro card or what are they called here my oyster card for the subway the trains and I had to go all the way back to the hotel and only to realize that I actually did have it I didn't leave it and so I've caused Savannah a whole lot of delays That we were cool enough to give you like a history lesson of all of these places that we're visiting. The thing is, yeah, I mean, we're very interested in all of that and we've actually learned a lot of it, but she studied in school. It's just remembering it for me. Like, I've watched documentaries about the Tower of London, but I feel like I still couldn't tell you anything about it other than it's a really strong tower. <laughs> like the Lord. The name of the Lord is... And now we're going to Starbucks. We're leaving the Tower of London area. And I really do think that this is probably my favorite spot of London so far. Not necessarily for things to do, but just for the way that it looks. Like, yeah, just such a mix of like old and modern. And it looks really, really cool. It's mid-east. Yeah, like it's the oldest of the old and the newest of the new. Yeah. 
I love that. There's the egg building. The Gergen. The Gergen. The Gergenheim. Not really, I'm just kidding. I love that building up there. What is that? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's City Hall. Really? That's cool. What an incredible City Hall, it's huge. So I think that we're still sticking to our idea that still Paris is our favorite, but London has also been incredible. Like almost equal with Paris, but just not quite. There's something about the atmosphere of Paris is just different. Yeah, I agree with that. In Paris there really is like that feeling. Wow. We're finally going to be able to get a good view of Buckingham Palace and I don't think it's going to be busy because they're not doing the changing of the guard right now. I mean it'll be busy but not like like it was when we were here the other day trying to get video of it. So uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to see the thing really nicely. And uh, Savannah prayed really hard that the weather would be nice and beautiful for us today and it is. She's gorgeous and I've lost her. Oh, she's getting pictures. I don't know what that place is, but it's pretty. All right, we're walking up on the palace now. One cool thing that they told us that we didn't really know, I guess I didn't really think about it, is any of the guards and stuff, like the changing of the guards, where they're wearing the big hats and all of that, none of them are just like toy soldiers or for show. All of the guards that are there have all been like front line in battle. They're all like real soldiers uh, that have really trained and really fought and it's not just for looks or for show. I mean it is symbolic and kind of like a memorial but they're all legit soldiers. Just like Windsor Castle on Buckingham Palace they put a flag on the top um, that shows if the Queen is in residence or not and today it's the British flag, which means that the queen is not in residence. She's out of the palace right now. This is the palace courtyard. Wow. This is kind of cool, but for safety measures, at every way that you could drive in, uh, they've got these giant steel things that come up out of the ground, so it's impossible to drive in unless you're invited. And that is a statue of Kate Middleton. I'm just kidding. The queen actually did invite us in today for afternoon tea. Uh, when she arrives, but we really don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, there's still a few other things we need to see, and we're leaving tomorrow. Uh, so unfortunately, we couldn't accept her request, but uh, we did tell her that next time we're here, we'll definitely uh, get in touch. And if we have a chance, if we have time, then we'll definitely uh, love to meet her for tea and her family. So uh, we'll see. Just so many things to do and so little time to do it all. Walking 
down the sidewalk in front of Kensington Palace and there are uh, black like tarps kind of up over nothing that's ugly or distracting up over a lot of the gates um, just simply because I don't want you to take any pictures or video of the palace from this side uh, this is the side where they pull in, their cars pull in, they come and go from the palace and uh, so there are a lot of signs and stuff that say no pictures, no cameras in this area and Savannah said a lot of it has to do with the fact that Princess Diana part of the reason that she was killed was probably because of paparazzi and everything that was going on there so anyway completely understandable but because of that, we won't have any pictures or video of the front of the palace. The street that they live on is beautiful. 